Alrighty, little A7 y thing. Start with an A7 chord. You strum obviously from the fifth string down. Or the fourth string. No biggie. Okay, starting on A7, press two and two. We're gonna call this major. Not, but it is. We'll call it that anyway. Then you slide up a tone, switch your third finger to your first finger, one fret back. So frets four and three. So you're going two and two, four and three. That's the two, only two shapes you need to worry about. So. Get that going first. One more time. Then you slide up a semitone to five and five, back to the first shape, major. Seven, seven, major. Oh, we'll do those first four. Major. Minor. Major. Major. One more time, back to the top. Up another tone, back to the minor shape. Slide that up a tone. Then 12 and 12, back to major. And then 14. That's the whole thing. Notice that the middle finger does not come off the string at all, ever. Then finish on a D major chord. Notice the last one. Your third finger is already on the right string for D. All right, then you can arpeggiate it however you like. Check it out. I'll just play the first two chords. Huh? Hold on. Hold on. That's a terrible view. All right, here I go. I'll play it from the fourth string down. Right, that is, sorry. Obviously you can do this with all the chords. You can also do it starting from the fifth string. You can do it however you like, you can go. Now you don't have to play it in that order, you can play whatever order you want. You might just play just the major ones. Play however you like. Have fun with that. Good luck.